Hi everyone and welcome back to Maths for today. Uh, we're going to look at some place value again. So we're going to start off with a little reminder about place value. So place value is about how much each number is worth and we're looking at numbers that are just ones. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're looking at numbers that are tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So let's have a bit of a look at it again before we start. So we have the tens number and we have the ones number. So if I had the number 37, there are three tens because we say 10, 20, 30, three tens. And there are seven ones because we say 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, seven ones, three, four, five, six, seven. And we use place value because if we're able to just count by tens and then ones, it's quicker and easier than trying to count all 37 on their own. Okay, so today we're going to play a game to help us with our tens and ones and we're going to do a scavenger hunt. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the scavenger hunt sheets, which your mums and dads can print out for you. You are going to need a magazine that's got numbers in it. So it could be junk mail or it could be a magazine. Make sure you ask before you cut it up. Uh, you will need some scissors. And you'll need a glue stick. And we're going to try and find numbers that match up with our scavenger hunt. So it tells us what it's looking for. And here, I'm going to actually start at the bottom here. It says, find a number with a nine in the ones place. So that would mean it would be the last number. And I'm going to have a look in my magazine here. And I can actually see one right here. So it's got the number 99. There is a nine at the end, a nine in the ones place. So I'm going to cut that number out. Oh, I've got tricky to cut around there. And then I would use my glue stick and glue it in the box. So I have found a number with a nine in the ones place. There's a nine in the tens place and in the ones place for this one. All right, let's have another one. I'm gonna look for a number with the six in the tens place. So that would make it the second number. So let's have a look here. Oh, there's a six in this number. Is it in the tens? No, it's in the ones, 26. So I can't use that one. Let's have another quick look and see if I can find one. Oh, here we go. Have a look at this number down the bottom. It says 63. So there's a three in the ones and there's a six in the tens. So I can cut that one out and pop it on my, oh, goodness me, fell on the floor. And pop that on my sheet. And then I'm going to try and fill up all of the boxes in my scavenger hunt. So I need to find a three in the ones place, a one in the tens place, a five in the ones place. And I'm going to pause the video while I find those numbers. And then while you're doing it, while it's paused, you're going to go and find the numbers as well. Okay, so pause the video, go find your numbers. And I'm back. So. That took me a little while, so it might take you a little while too, but I have found a number for each one. So for a three in the ones place, I found the number 43. For a one in the tens place, I found 10. For a five in the ones place, I have 25. For a six in the tens place, I have 65. 
And for a nine in the ones place, you have 99. There is one more thing that you need to do in this activity, and that is to put a circle around, or this sheet, the largest number. So, which would be the biggest number? It would be the number that has the most tens. Okay, so we've got a 40, a 10, a 20, a 60, and a 90. Which one's going to be the biggest? That's correct, it would be 99. So I would put a circle around my 99. Yours might be different. You might have your numbers in a different place. But you need to put a circle around the biggest one for me. There are two sheets for you to do, so I want you to do both of them. And I hope you have fun with that activity.